one of the kids really liked books. Yeah, so my dad went so, to go find books. Yeah, he found story time books. And he also found a big uh, puppet yes. thing. And she really liked and, that. And the, and the voice that came with... Yeah, so he had a voice for the pig and she loved it. So the little babies and um, the oldest one were listening to story time from story time pig from my dad. Well, we're looking forward to do what Jesus did. Reaching out to those who are at the margins of society. And, and I think that's a great thing that we can do that. And we're looking forward to um, mingling with these two families and helping and, and inspiring them and, and maybe giving them hope. We'll see. Yeah, I'm excited to meet these families and I'll be helping these book preparation. It was nice to see the kids running around, the energy of the children. Uh, the mothers were very gracious, let everybody play with the kids, hold the babies, and the kids were happy to be held. It was beautiful, really nice. It was just a, a simple uh, gathering, simple meal, and it was uh, very friendly and warm, and it was uh, a pleasant experience. Uh, we, we were part of the dinner crew tonight that made supper for uh, the families that are staying here at Leo Drive this week. Um, and uh, there was two moms with some young kids and uh, the kids were very entertaining. <laughs> the moms were exhausted from their day. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was just, it was really nice um, seeing the, the kids interact with their moms and as, and as they got uh, to know us a little bit, they started letting their hair down and we were running all over the room and, and having a good time and, and uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a fun night. So uh, tonight was my first night. I'm the overnight host for tonight and I was, I've been excited all week to have this opportunity to be able to impart some of our church's friendliness to the community. And tonight we got to meet our two guests and their um, two children on one side and a little girl on the other side. And it's joyful to see our church with children, to play with the children, you know, to hear the squeals and the screaming of these kids running around in our fellowship hall while we're able to prepare a meal for them so that they can enjoy the way we celebrate life and how we want to show what our church is there for, for them. And this is what we are here. You know, this is God's mission and we are here to do God's mission. and. It's just really nice that we can use our church for this kind of work and this purpose. And so I'm excited to be the host tonight. I'm gonna to sleep over here at the church. So it's gonna be my first time having an overnight slumber party here at the church. <laughs> um, and it's gonna be a little cold, so burr. We'll see uh, how it turns out. I enjoy the kids. I love kids. And um, oh, there were three and one was one family and they came in so tired and the mom here she's got both kids hanging on coming in from tired from a long day and I was happy to go in there and try to get in there so I could help her I wanted to help that mom because she, she's all by herself with these two kids young children and um, I feel very thankful that they came to me and wanted me to help and I was able to converse with the mom and, and it had a delight. It was, she was really nice and she's a good mom too to her kids. She said something that was really precious. I told her, it said, really hit my heart that she wants to be a soft place for them to land. And that was precious, like, because she didn't have that. She says it was different with her growing up, but she wants her kids to know that I'm their soft place to land. I love that, Precious. So I'm thankful that I got to meet them. It is a wonderful experience to be able to make someone feel at home, even though that this isn't a home. But our church is becoming a home. And it's a wonderful opportunity for anyone to participate. No one can tell me that they don't have two or three hours to give once every three months. That's the magic of this program. It's not a long-term commitment that you have to come in every week to do something. It's just a three-hour commitment if you're doing a dinner. Uh, of course, it's a little longer if you're going to be the chaperones for the evening, but this is something that I could do 
And I think I really challenge anybody else to do it. So basically to explain our job, um, we got here um, probably about half an hour before the families arrived for the evening. And we made sure that their rooms were clean and the temperature control was good because we had a couple, we had three small children. I involved with the families this week to make sure that they weren't too cold. And then when they came, we helped them settle in their rooms and then we all had dinner together. And once dinner was finished, we put out um, supplies for them to make lunches for the next day. And then because of the small kids, they went to bed by, they went to their rooms by about seven. And then we will be getting them up at the latest six in the morning because they have to get ready and have breakfast and catch the bus at 6.45. And uh, basically we're gonna camp out and if there's any problems, they will call us or come get us and then make sure things are tidied up before we leave in the morning. And supposedly we will be out of here by at the latest 7.15. And just to add one thing to that, so I'm working full day tomorrow, uh, and so I'm going to be getting up and getting out uh, as they will be, and I'll be on, on to my job and seeing patients uh, and charting all day long, and so uh, that's uh, certainly a doable thing if somebody's working you know, the next day. Well, one time we were sitting down with two families who had a bunch of kids, and we were all having dinner together and talking amongst ourselves, talking to the kids about school and all of their typical issues we all have and halfway through the dinner my youngest son whispered to me so when are the homeless people coming so i, I yeah that's uh interesting because uh, you don't think of um, homeless people in that way so um they're single moms who don't have um of course you know place to stay and they have young children and it's nice to be able to actually get to know them and uh, share a meal with them and um, and it's like they're not even you know like the typical homeless person you see on the street so that was um, it's a nice way of being able to help you know others I had a, a dinner with two single moms and it was three moms sitting and having dinner and talking talking about our kids I was a single mom and I was 21 also, and we, it was three moms talking about our children and enjoying a nice meal together. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of love and laughter and mm -hmm. a couple new friends. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello everyone. It's uh, the morning of um, Home Again LA. Good morning! Happy Sabbath! Another beautiful day here at Vallejo Drive Church! We uh, have our, this is our second to the last day. Tomorrow our guests get to leave. And today we're doing a special breakfast as you follow me. <laughs> we have uh, Sherilyn pulling out the nuts, making it a beautiful morning breakfast. We have eggs cooking in the oven with pancakes. Oatmeal on the stove. Sherilyn working really hard with the fruit as we've got strawberries and raspberries <laughs> and blueberries <laughs> over there. Oh, wow. Fresh bananas. They're going to be waking up soon. They are going to be waking up soon. Well, uh, tonight is the third night of our hosting week, and Patty and I will be spending the night in the church in Pastor Lauren's office. And we have our inflatable air pads and uh, some blankets and things. And uh, I think we'll be okay. Uh, Aaron Stone and his wife Jan were the hosts last night. They said they had a wonderful time. And then uh, Aaron just got up in the morning and went to work. So, and that's what we all are gonna do. So we spend the night in the church and then just very early in the morning, we're usually done by 7.15. The families leave at 6.45 back to the day center. And so that gives us 15 minutes to a half an hour to kind of ready the place for the next evening and then uh, that's the way it goes 
and then the dinner coordinators come at uh, 5.30 or maybe a little before and they get their uh, dinner ready and they're usually done by maybe uh, 7 p.m. So uh, that's how that goes. And all the volunteers seem to be really enjoying themselves and um, the families are fun. Uh, they have uh, little kids and it's nice to see that the, the church is able to provide uh, the safety net for families at, while they're doing their 90 day boot camp, uh, getting into their own permanent housing. This isn't just about doing stuff at church. This is about people. It's about families that uh, need connection. They need community. And we have a chance to, to offer that. And uh, I'm really proud of our church and I'm really privileged to be a part of this. And thank you to the, to the whole ministry team here at uh, Vallejo who, who has championed this cause. Welcome. We're going to have next time. So if you like, then welcome to participate in the program. Thank you. I'm Crystal. I work for Hala and I just want to thank the Vallejo Church for hosting all the families this week. It's a big help to us and thank you very much.